Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and today I've made a new form. I hope. <laughs> I've got it started anyway. It's a new form that I can use when I'm sculpting heads and faces. Basically, it's very much like this little guy that I've been using a lot when I want to make really small uh, practice masks. This is my model for my brand new sculpt, but it doesn't have the big holes that are in the way all the time that you have to fill in anyway, and it doesn't have the big nose like the mannequin has. So if I want to do a, uh, a portrait, I don't have to work around the nose and, and around the eyes and everything's already put on this guy. He's got a little bit too much information when you're trying to do a, a sculpt of a portrait. So today I made that uh, <laughs> the clay form and then I made a silicone mold kind of like this one. When I'm using this little guy I use plaster cloth on the inside of my mold and that's what this is. Um, and then when it gets all cruddy and too much clay on it or something or if it gets broken or if I lose it I can just make myself another one. Hopefully I'll be able to do all those things with my new one, only it's going to be this size, big enough for an actual uh, life-size portrait. So let me clear this stuff away. I'll get out my, my new sculpt and we'll see if it's actually going to work. So what we have here is my original sculpt of the Simplified Sculpt is in there. I have covered it with silicone using Rebound 25 from Smooth On. Then I covered that with plaster cloth so that I would have a nice hard shell. And I'm going to take it apart now and see if it actually works. So I have my warm water and I've got some plaster bandages, plaster cloth, just in case this works. I'm pretty sure it will. I'm hoping it will anyway. I can't see why it wouldn't. That's kind of dangerous words. That's the hard shell mother mold. And here's the silicone rebound 25. Looks like it worked really well. Got a really nice print. Of course this was really simple. There's not many details. Just, just enough information on there to make it easy to sculpt a face without having to worry about where do you put the cheekbones, how far apart should you put the eyes, and all that sort of thing. So. We've got all that stuff on there. The plaster cloth can get a little messy, so I'm going to put it on here. This was such a simple mold that I didn't bother putting any kind of keys or anything in there. It just sits right down, so it really didn't need them. I'm using the real fast setting plaster cloth that I get from the brick in the yard folks. It's really nice. I'm just going to go back around on the edge. Now I know that. Since I'm using a double sheet on everything else, I know that there's at least two layers on everything. But I'm going to go back around the edge because there's a lot of pressure when you're pushing on the clay on top of this form. I don't want it to crack at the edge. I um, hope I didn't get any water on that. Because if I did, it would have ruined it. I don't think I did. I was trying to be careful. Leave that for about 10 minutes until it hardens up. And we'll see if it worked. Okay, I left it for about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes.
It worked. Worked very nicely. So now, just as soon as this has dried a bit more, I can put it up on my mask stand. Maybe put a couple of spots of hot glue to keep it from falling off and get started on a another character study. I've already got one in plan. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so this is this is quite exciting. I, I thought I'd bring this guy up here just to show you why I like using the skulls instead of, of this mannequin. Um, this is what I use for the lizard dude and uh, quite a few other sculpts that I've done. Um, and, it, and it works fine. This is actually a really nice piece of equipment. Uh, it has all the right shapes on it. It's proportional. But this is, this is the problem right here. <laughs> so um, if you want to make someone who has a different shape nose, something smaller, something closer to the face, yeah, it's not going to work. It just gets in the way. You're, you're limited uh, just a little bit. The eyes as well. Uh, because it has the eyes in there already, you, you can't have really deep set eyes. You can't make some characters that might have different... Uh, it's, just, it's just limiting because there's too much information on this. That's just not true on a skull. It's a lot easier to use to make a character that has a personality of its own rather than the one that's built in with the mannequin. If you decide to make one of these, please let us know. Or if you've made anything similar, or if you have ideas that uh, you think are actually going to work better, please let us know. And in the meantime, go check out all of the other videos that I got on my channel. I don't want you to miss anything. And then come visit me at ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.